am a studio. I am your host, Noah Goodman, and I'm joined here this evening by my friend and guest, famous latte artist, coffee professional, Daniel Lee. Thank you for joining us this evening, Daniel. You're welcome. One thing I hear about latte artists in general is that if you proclaim yourself to be a latte artist, you have to be able to pour anything. 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 Swans, birds, flowers. Seahorse? Easy. Mythical Pegasus. Left-handed. We're gonna have to look into this, folks. Here we go. We're here with the Faima E71. On this machine, it's a little bit fun because we've got two steam wands. We have a regular steam wand and we have an automated steam wand. On the automated steam wand, you're able to uh, set settings such as emulsion level and temperature. For today's demonstration of latte art by our friend Daniel here, we're going to ask him to only use the automated steam wand. He has no control over the emulsion or temperature of the milk. We're going to keep it completely consistent throughout the entire demonstration, and the only difference will be Dan's pouring style. So this is called a flamingo signified. I cut through on the bottom heart so that it signifies almost like standing on one leg. So it's a variation of swan that I really uh, appreciate a lot. So this is what's called a classic wing tulip where two ripple portions uh, comprise half of the picture. And the most important thing is the consistency of the ripples finished by a multi-stack, and then finished by a heart at the top. What's up? The pour I'm gonna be showing you today, pretty simple. It's a tulip made up of a base of a heart. Well, what you would start as a heart before you pull through. And we're just gonna basically repeat that, stack after stack after stack. The thing that we're gonna focus on though is symmetry and consistency, both in size and shape of each single pour. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. This tulip here with oat milk today. One of my favorite options for non-dairy alternatives. Gotta pour a little bit slower with the oat milk, just to make sure that the design you want is as clear and as crisp as you might get it with cow's milk. But there's a dairy-free alternative. Looks just as good. Stay tuned for, for more, more to come.